Take time. I just can't conceive. I am cursed. I refuse to believe that, dearest. Not you. I am willing to wait for you. Forever if I have to. Don't despair. Well, I guess I just wasn't meant to be a mother. That's all there is to it. On the contrary, I think you shall be a very fine mother. How? Tell me how. In a few years I shall be too old to bear. What if I told you something that would remedy that situation in a twinkling of an eye? You mean by some magical trick? No, not by any magic or trick. You're beginning to frighten me, William. Don't be frightened. There's been something I've been meaning to tell you these past three years and couldn't. What is this big secret you have been keeping from me? I have been only following my father's orders. He knows the secret and urged me to keep it so. I respected his wishes, that is, until now. Oh, that's nice. You and your father have been conspiring against me, keeping things from me. How could you? Well, it was only done to protect you. I didn't want to see you hurt. Oh, what does this have to do with my not being able to bring children? Nothing. Nothing to do with your ability to conceive, but with everything to do with you as being a mother. Hmm. Let me see. This has been going on for quite a while, has it not? Uh, I, I'm afraid so. Oh, <laughs> are you and your father see fit to deceive me. This doesn't sound very good. It is what it is. There was nothing we could have done. However, you can say it comes at a very opportune time. William, hold me. Hold me tight. I am fearful. Mm. Just remember, I have the deepest love for you. Whatever happens. So then, tell me. The secret of yours. I'll be brave. Uh, f Fifteen years ago, long before I met, fell in love, and married you, I had a son. You what? <laughs> oh, my God! I married a bigamist! No, no, no. I, I am not a bigamist. I didn't marry this woman. I couldn't have. Huh. What was she then? Oh, I can't believe this! I was young and indiscreet. She was a scullery maid working for my father. I couldn't very well have married her. <coughs> she was not of our class. Think of the scandal. My father and I managed to house and care for her. And the child hidden away so nobody knew. Until recently we... Until recently? Yes, she just died a few weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> My son is now a fine young lad of 15 and is still of an impressionable age, needing a mother. This is where you were to come in. His poor mother, now dead, could you help in taking the position as new mother to this boy of mine? You are asking a lot of me to take over and be a mother to a child nearly fully grown. It's not like a babe needing to be suck-nursed. I have you know that just as I, too, was illegitimately born, my father's wife, Deborah, accepted me as her own. She nurtured, cared, and loved me as I hope and expect. You can do the same for my son, Temple. Temple? <laughs> His name? Yes. After my father's suggestion, we are Masons and... We hold our meeting places in Temple's hands. Temple, he's a fine young lad. Have you had 
contact with him often. What I mean to say is, have you been a part of his life? I visited him as often and whenever I could. And what about her? Did you see her as well when you made visits to your son? Had you continued relations? No, she didn't want anything to do with me after I... I can understand why. <laughs> you want me then to be mother to your son after the way you treated that poor woman. Elizabeth, please, I beg of you. My son needs a mother and you need a child. God has brought you both together. Don't bring God into this. I have mind and every right to leave you, don't you know? A divorce wouldn't serve either one of us. Your position as governor and my own security as a woman is at stake. I can't face the disgrace of being thrown out on the street. I'll stay with you then and be mother to your son. But for a while, we will sleep in separate beds. As you wish, but in time, I hope you'll forgive me. I'll arrange a meeting with Temple. Hmm. This certainly came unexpected. Are you sure there aren't any others about? <laughs> to our relief, there aren't any others. You must tell your father that I was told. He already knows. <laughs> like father, like son, I have two bastards to contend with. <laughs> Thank you.